Hello everyone guys, Olga today with you, I'm Ukrainian from Ukraine if you forgot and today I want to talk about one interesting point that a lot of guys searching for girls from Ukraine because they have some kind of stereotypic opinions that Ukrainian girls are not so high demanded, they are hardworking, they like to do a lot of things by themselves, they are super great housewives and if you will find Ukrainian girl from very, very deep village, she would be totally not materialistic, not demanding a lot of things because she used to live a poor life. Shortly, I just want to crash all these uh, myths around Ukrainian girls because all these things is not really true. First of all, if Ukrainian girls are hardworking and they're not demanded and high demanded and all that things. So actually, I guess this thing's coming from Soviet Union because in Soviet Union, you can say everybody was uh, equally poor. There was no washing machines, dishwashing machines, actually no kind of equipment. Nobody was owning cars or super limited amount of people. Uh, there was very limited amount of clothes which you can buy and all that kind of stuff. That's why, and there was for sure no international brands. That's why actually Ukrainian girls they were used to do a lot of things by their own hands, wash clothes every day by hands, for example, wash dishes, walk for very long distances or use public transportations and dress in a very uh, cheap things because this is only the things which was available and they wasn't knowing about anything else. Nowadays, the generations like my generation and a bit older, even girls and a bit younger, we all grown up in totally different conditions. We grown up in totally free country where everybody can run business, make as much money as you want. So we have girls who still uh, live in somehow, you can say poor lifestyle, but not poor to that level, even I guess like it was in Soviet Union. And at the same time, we have a lot of girls who used to go to vacation every couple of um months somewhere to abroad to some islands or something they have their own car they have all fully equipped houses they can have housekeeper at home they can have dish food always from restaurant because they don't want to cook really and they used to wear very nice clothes and very nice brands and go to very nice restaurants and so on and this is I'm not talking about somebody super luxury, expensive lifestyle. No, no, no. I'm talking about very, very normal average Ukrainian girls. If you will go to Kiev, for example, you will find many of them. They are living such lifestyle even with some kind of like very, very average jobs and average living. So this is how our people is able to make it somehow. But anyway, it's totally not true that our girls would be ready to go in some um, whatever, you know, some people think that I will say that, for example, I'm from United States and for sure everybody dream to move there and uh, they would be just fine because I'm from there. No, we don't have people who really, it's not we don't have, we have, but not everybody dream to move abroad even. And since uh, war started, so many girls go abroad and they come back to Ukraine and they start saying, wow, how many things in Ukraine is much better than we found it in Europe? How much more convenient? How much better service? How much better things we have? So our girls totally not obsessed with life abroad. You can find such, but this is totally not everybody. Second interesting thing that if I will find girl from some deep village, she would not be high demanded because she don't know all these things. This is guys the biggest mistake. I don't know from where it comes from. Are you materialistic or not? It is just your personality. It totally doesn't matter where you was born and living all your life in village or in a big city, in the city with 10 million people or in village with 1000 people where you don't see anything, even water. Because this is type of personality. Yes, if she's living in village and she don't have money, she has very small amount of money for her um, for during the month, she will for sure go and buy the cheapest dresses, the cheapest makeup, and she will go and live in the cheapest lifestyle. But doesn't mean if you will not give her $10,000, she will not go and spend them in one night just because finally she get to know 
whew, finally she can have a lot of money and she can go and spend also all of them in more expensive things which before she wasn't able to buy and at the same time if you will have a girl who used to live some kind of uh, pretty good lifestyle she used to have very good level of living doesn't mean that this girl she will go and spend like crazy whatever money you will give her especially if she used to earn money and she know how hard it is to make money by herself so she may see the more value on this uh, money than the girl who never worked for example doesn't have education and she totally doesn't understand the value of money so that is my point that if you're looking for somebody not materialistic don't look for village or city big city small city and all these things just look for the person just look for the person how she's uh, behaving how much money she has how she's spending them for sure if you are going for somebody so so much poor with super limited amount of money it would be really hard to say how she will behave if she would have a lot of money but if you're going for somebody who is earning let's say um three thousand dollar per um, months in Ukraine this is pretty good amount for Ukraine let us see how she is spending this money is she spending only 500 and she's saving the rest for some kind of other things which she would like to buy for herself in the future or she is wasting this 3000 every month in, in the end of month she has nothing that would be very good indication for you and that will give you really good understanding how she will be behaving with family budget in future so guys that was my main thing about Ukrainian girl and write me if you have those stereotypes if you find that my words are true or not true I would be very happy to read your comments and your opinion thanks so much don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel